Hey guys, welcome back to Adventures of Well and Me. I hope the camera's set up right. I can't actually look at it in my phone at the moment because the battery died just a moment ago. And that's how I usually monitor the camera. Anyway, uh, back to the point of this actual game that we're about to play. We're playing um, Bomberman Hero on the Nintendo 64 for our Museum of Gaming. Uh, yes, we're still in the bees. It's taken forever to get through these. But, in saying that, we're about to play this game and this tower in the game looks very weird. I'm actually going to chuck my headphones on so I can hear everything. Anyway, go and jump into it, uh, see how it sounds, and then... Sounds? See how it plays. I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's just get in the game. Um, yeah. There we go. That was awkward. We're going to see how the game actually plays, and I'm going to give you a rating out of uh, 10, and let you know what I think overall of the game. Yeah. Now, since we've gotten through that awkward little intro there where I had no idea what I was talking about, I don't know if this one's like the other two Bomberman games that we just recently played um, on the 64 in Museum of Gaming. Because um, they were like role-playing games, but using Bomberman, which was, which was different. It was fun and interesting at least. <laughs> this is a weird intro. Very weird intro, actually. Kinda wanna skip it, but at the same time I'm intrigued at what's going on. It's very jumpy. If this takes too much longer, I've gotta swap it. Swap it. Press start, skip it. I don't know what I'm saying. I've, I've been down, it was my first time competing um, in the local tournaments for Yu-Gi-Oh, which was fun. Um, but at the same time, now my head's all over the place. Exhausted. Everyone was on Pokemon Go though, they all were playing Pokemon while they were competing in both Magic, because there was Magic the Gathering pre-release, and a Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, local tournament going on. Here we go. Yeah, so... I'm a bit, uh... A bit exhausted, but I thought, you know, I need to smash out some of these recordings, otherwise I'm never gonna get through them. And I was usually odd uh, on Sunday afternoon before I go, go out for dinner. So I usually go to my parents' house for dinner on Sundays great, good seeing family, always try and keep up with your family if you don't live at home with them, um, but yeah, so usually I'd have dinner with them, uh, or my in-laws, and it's like, I have this time in the afternoon where I can go and uh, play these games and film them, but being that I'm doing a short film for a film competition tomorrow, I don't actually have any time to sit down and edit, because that's like dead center in the afternoon, and it's just, it's like, if I try and film these games, it's not gonna work. So, bulk recording, if it sounds dodgy, if it's like really awkward dialogue, me just like chatting awkward like this, like this, this is a good example, if I'm just chatting like this really awkwardly, forgive me please. Alright. I know there's some sort of story going on with the subtitles there, but I haven't been reading it. I mean, I kind of read it out of the corner of my eye then. Um, yeah. This is... A slow start. Take this disc and go hide in the engine room. That's one thing I don't like with games, when it just, it feels like it's draggy. I might, I mean, it might not be dragging, but it just feels like it. It's a bit of a killer. Oh, one thing that I saw today, guys. I know this is like another random topic. I saw the Nintendo Mini NES uh, system that's been released in November, I think it was like around the same time as Pokemon. That thing looks awesome. It plugs straight into your TV, runs off a USB cable with like a charging brick. So you can use like your iPhone or Android USB charger to charge or to run this uh this console and play 30 of like the classic uh NES games. So that is something that I definitely want to pick up. I think it might be a bit of a Christmas present for me. If any family members are uh, are listening, you know, come on. Hey, hey. <laughs> but yeah, that's something that I found like awesome because I just checked the email and then I looked it up. So I might be uh, getting onto one of those later on. Getting some good old classic, oh, don't mind that installed games on the computer notification. <laughs> um, might be getting into some classic Nintendo games uh, with that. I could do an ep like 30 episodes. One for each game, 
or we can try and beat each game, whatever it will be. I want to try something like that, so... Um... I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's read this. Place a bomb on the switch and the floating board will move. Ah, uh, now we've missed it. <laughs> That's cool. I was to say, tap the R button or C down stick twice to do a bomb kick. That's interesting. Oh, we'll smash those. What's this get us? I don't know what that is. Is that like armor? Where's that back on? Um. Okay, I think... Where is everything in here? I mean, I don't know what else there is to do. Can we go through this door? Yes, we can. Good. Phew! Alright, let's get on with the story. It's been five minutes. Wow. So yeah, at the end of the year, I'm hoping to get that, and I'm hoping I will be able to record some awesome games for you guys. Some of the classic games. Ah, uh, Bob Man, you're back. I'll train you now. Okay, so we're doing training. And yeah, HDMI. So it like upscales the games to like really good quality as well. That's awesome. This game's really slow. I just that was weird. What what was that? As interesting as these games are, they take a long time. Although I'm feeling as though this one's controlling a little better than that other Bomberman game we played. Uh, what's this guy going to say? You'll earn points if you defeat enemies or get items. Bam! Is that supposed to be like a... Oh, can we come back to it later? There we go. Got it. That did not want to do it for me. Oh, whoa, that was weird. I've got this side as well. That's really weird. This game does handle a lot better. I should have checked if this one um, came out after the other two we played or not. But I am... Um, to be honest, I am actually enjoying this game a lot more than the other two. I uh, like... And that's within the first couple of seconds, so... That's not too bad. Oh no. All these uh chickens. Alright. Set the bomb underneath the reaction plate, okay. Get this diamond. Did I get both of them then? I didn't. Okay. Whoa. There we go, got it now. Well, the controls are a little bit floaty uh, at times, but nothing that's too bad. And I'm not like dying constantly like I was uh, in, was it the second, the second one when we played that? Where I was just like dying. Um, 
that was the first one. Uh, yeah, the first one. Where I just like died. Awkwardly. Oh, and I've missed that. Boom. Oh, what? Ah! Evil chickens! Evil chickens! <laughs> Whoa, they do one damage. Oh, no, I hit myself with my bomb, is that what I did? There we go. I don't think that did a single thing for me, getting all the chickens. I guess it's telling me to go that way. I did it! So does that mean we missed like one thing? I'm not sure. So it looks like we have to kind of get a whole heap of um, Oh, what am I doing? What am I trying to say, too? A whole heap of points, um, in multiple levels? Whoa, this is awkward. Why is there another one, like, through there? What? That's weird. Uh, explosion radius has increased. How do I get down there? Or is that like the end? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I do not know, but I'm trying to keep an eye on the time so we don't spend too long playing. But so far I'm not good at actually committing to uh, the amount of time that I've said. <laughs> that's like any consolation of how these videos have been going in the past. Okay. Okay, come on. Got him. I feel like I do need to get up the top there. Which is gonna be frustrating because you need a card key to open. I don't know what I'm supposed to have all these on. Are they supposed to be green? Oh no, that just slows it, slows it down, does it? Is that what it does? Let me check this out. Yeah, that slows it down. Okay. That stops it. Bing. Okay, so what's uh, this way? Ooh. Oh no! I died. Oh, we start again? You know what, I'm not really gonna worry about getting uh, the gems. I'm just gonna try and rush to the end and see what like we can actually do. Those guys are just like floating there. They don't chase me or anything as well. Which is weird. Alright, so we got that guy. Let's head this way. Get him. Oh, wow, okay. They, like, teleported us. Oh, and then do we go through here? 
Oh, that's the end. Okay, that was weird. I did it! Pretty much you got to try and get as many points as possible. Ah, okay. And you got to do them in order as well. I know, this will be the last one that I play. I should have read that. Wow. Yeah, I got a gem. What? That's weird. Oh, health, always good. Thing, whatever that is. Okay, that's crashed. Oh, that was stupid. <laughs> Pretty good at that, aren't I? Woo! So that's for the gems. Does that mean that we've uh, successfully opened this door? Yeah! That's cool. That. Anything around here? Well, nope. There's a hole for you to fall down. That's what's around there. Alright, let's get back up here. Might as well get this gem. Give us a few points at least. I don't know what the gems do, I should have read that. Would have been helpful, to be honest. <laughs> Actually, no. I don't know, they feel like some sort of currency, maybe. Oh, not fun. Oh, okay. Don't do that. <laughs> I knew there would be another gem here. And this should be the end of the level. Yeah, there we go. So you get clear points. Cool. Alright, we're gonna... I don't know why I can access the sky room, but not the heavy room. Anyway, I am going to actually end the episode up there. Um... It's kind of fun, kind of fun. Definitely uh, different to the other two Bomberman games we played. It's uh, easier to control, but at the same time, it's a little bit floaty. So at the same time, there are some difficulties with the controls. Um, a score out of 10? Ooh, I think I might give this a uh, 7.5 out of 10. It was pretty good. I would play this again. I would get on it and play it again. Anyway, have a great day, guys, and I'll catch you next time. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. If you want to check out the previous video for this series, click the top left video. If you want to check out my favourite videos from my own playlists, check out the bottom one where I've compiled them all together for you to check out. And if you're not subscribed, you can hit my logo up in the top right to subscribe. Again, thank you so much and I'll catch you next time.